in this video we are going to discuss about switching and the history of switches so what is switching in common you know that switches break collision domains to provide a faster and collision free network so to provide collision free network and also fast performance of the switch so they break the collision domains so this is the feature of the switch so coming similarly redundant link in layer 2 can cause loops by now you we all know that loops are dangerous and also it degrades the performance of any device or switch and router hence the spanning tree protocol was developed so that to subside these loops here so we will be discussing about spanning tree in coming videos but now we will be looking about the history of the switches and how the switches came into picture you see to understand more importance of current day switches you need to understand how networks work here so how networks used to work before the switches got introduced so we all will see an example here that when novel became very popular in late 80s and early 90s then netware servers replaced the popular os2 and lan manager servers so the lan manager servers and os2 servers are replaced by the netware servers so this made ethernet more popular because novel servers used to communicate between clients and servers and increasing dependency of the ethernet and fact that the 10 base 2 technology was costly and slow led to rapid development of ethernet so because of the replacement of netware servers the ethernet came into picture and the vast usage of ethernet and the varieties or the types of ethernet got increased here hubs were added to network so that 10 base 5 standard could be used for one host and hub port connected on each cable so it used for one network and hub port, hub port is connected to each cable and this led to collapsed backbone network such as the one shown in the next year so what is the collapsed backbone network here you see that the collapsed backbone network will, will cause a problem due to this and the switches are used here so you see the corporate network became very huge and very slow in performance and since most of the services are available in remote offices so that dependency of the services got increased so you see collapsed backbone network here so the collapsed backbone network single collision domain we have all the hubs connected to one router which is in the head office and the head office is connected to branch office and a single collision domain hub is also connected to the branch office you see head office again have a hub here connected to single collision domain so this is collapsed backbone network that means if one network got collapsed the other one will come into picture and takes up the duty of the actual daily tasks so you see single collision domain they are three collision domains one is for hubs I mean two are for hubs and one is for the servers so this is about the switches and their history here